On the air of the MMA-TV.com TV channel is the next issue of the Sport Life program. And Alexandra Abramova is here with you. Hello. Let's start as usual with the most high-profile news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. The Russian athlete Magomed Ankalaev, who occupies the fourth line in the ranking of the UFC top light heavyweights, has every chance to become the next champion of the organization. The 30-year-old Russian fighter Magomed Ankalaev repeatedly dealt with opponents whose records significantly exceed his professional achievements. At the moment, Ankalaev has 17 wins and one single defeat, received in the framework of the debut match of the UFC Fight Night 127. Then the opponent of the Russian fighter was Paul Craig, who strangled Ankalaev a second before the end of the third round. Now, three years after the unsuccessful fight with Paul, Magomed not only worked out the loss eight times, but is also ready to share the cage with Anthony Smith, who has almost four times more professional performances. We wish Russian fighter good luck, because after the much victory over Thiago Santos, Magomed got a chance to finally enter the challenger match, the winner of which will fight for the champion title of the organization. Another significant news, Fyodor Emelianenko has been selected president of the Russian Mixed Martial Arts Union. It is worth noting that one of the two candidates for this post, Andriy Tarantiv, withdrew from the election in favor of Emelianenko. And the majority of delegates of the Extraordinary Reporting and Election Conference voted for the candidacy of Fyodor Vladimirovich. Recall that Emil Yanning already held this position in the period from 12 to 18 years after which he became chairman of the supervisory board, handing over the reins to Radmir Gopdulin. A few months ago, Emil Yanning left the post of chairman due to the disagreements with Gopdulin. During the last conference, Tarantiv was elected first vice president of the Russian MMA Union, and Gopdulin took the post of vice president. Meanwhile, the MMA series continued to delight fans with new events. Already in June 24, the next tournament number 53 will be held in the city of Troyesk near Moscow. As part of the super event, guests will see the confrontation of two different worlds, pop and pro MMA, Kovalenko Svet against Sergei Bobrushev. After an important victory over Asil Gaziev Tursunbek at the 50th Super Tournament, the Murom athlete has 14 wins and 2 defeats in his piggy bank, as well as the long-awaited bronze belt of the winner of the MMA series. Kovalenko took part in fights against professional only a few times, but they were not counted into the fighter rating. The blogger conducted the main fights within the framework of pop MMA promotions at an amateur level. With all the diversity in style of fighting, that list still have something in common. Svitoslav is called the master of provocations, and Sergei is called the moron Conor McGregor, so we have every chance to see the daring, emotional, and vivid duel between two audience favorites. And another athlete will show the Russian style of fighting for a guest from Brazil. Morum hero from the club Molot Sergei Dyakonov this time will share the cage with the former fighter of the UFC, Vincius Moreira. At the moment, Dyakonov has 13 successful fights and only two defeats, while the athlete is on a winning path of five fights. For the last performance against Brazilian Natalicia Filio knocked out by Magatur in the first round of the 48 tournament, Dyakonov received the bronze belt of the series winner. Four months after the last performance on our side, Sergei returns for a new victory. This time, his opponent will be a former fighter of the world's leading promotion, Vincius Mahmoud Moreira, whose record is 10 wins and 7 losses. The Brazilian had his last fight in December last year, losing in a tough fight to Mikhail Magnatke by unanimous decision. Now the Brazilian is on the path of two defeats, so he will be extremely motivated to win. We will follow the international confrontation of heavyweights with interest. The confrontation between Brazilian and Russian fighters does not end there. A rematch between two old acquaintances is playing in the pair of Cleober Cabral Yakov Ikimov. I remind you that the Atlas have already met in September last year in the framework of the Serbian MMA Series Tournament 40, SBC 35, where Cabral lost to Yakov at the end of the first round by knockout. For the Brazilian, this was the first defeat since 2014, and the Adler was on the path of eight victories. After that, Kluber managed to close his failure twice, and now clearly wants a revenge for the record damage by Ikimov. In total, he has 22 pro fights, of which 18 ended in favor of Cabral. Yakov Ikimov also did not stand still. From the moment of meeting with the Brazilian, he managed to knock out two more foreigners within the series and to pick up the silver battle of the winner at the 50th Super Tournament, for which he was jokingly called the Collector. 
the upcoming match will once again become a title belt for him. Yakov has ever chance to become the first gold belt holder in our history. Although the athlete has not fewer fights on his account than the Brazilian, Yakov has not lost to any of his opponents in his entire professional career. And this was the Sport Life program and his host, Alexandra Abramova. Subscribe to the pages of the MMA series on social networks, follow our news, and watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com, especially every Thursday. See you on TV.